Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with LandTheHouse.com. I'd like to introduce to you the Hydraulic Ram Pump. This is a water pump that requires no electricity to work. All you have to have is a water source, may it be a pond or a creek or even a rain barrel, and you have to have an elevation drop for the water to fall into the pump. Now this pump is available at Land House for purchase or you can follow the instructions to build your own. So I'd like to show you how to install this pump and how it works. In this example I will be using a creek flowing at about 100 gallons per minute. Now you have to get the water to the pump somehow from your source. That's going to be with something known as a pinstock, which is just a fancy word for a tube or a pipe. So you can use steel or PVC or, in my case, a black flex tube. Now the more rigid the material, the more efficient your pump will be. So this flex tube is probably the least efficient because it has give and it turns and bends around rocks and debris. So steel is your best option, but um, for economic reasons you may want to use PVC pipe or this black flex pipe. Now for this temporary setup, I'm going to place a hardware cloth or mesh over the end of my pinstock to prevent debris and leaves from getting into the pipe. And I'm also going to leave the pipe out of the water while I install the pump. Now the pinstock has been installed in the creek, but because it does not have threads on it to attach to the pump, I'm going to use this rubber connector. Simply slide the pipe or pin stock into rubber connector and then use the wrench to tighten it down. Now we have our pin stock installed and the pump is installed, but to get the water to our desired destination, we're going to have to have something called a delivery pipe. So for this installation, all I'm going to use is a standard garden hose. Now if you're going to be making this a permanent installation, you would want to use a more permanent delivery pipe. The garden hose has been stretched about 15 feet above where the pump is, circles around, and up to the top of this little tree. It is important to run your delivery pipe first because when you start your pump, it needs to have a back pressure on it to keep the pump running. Now that we have our pin stock installed, we have our pump ready, and our delivery pipe is installed, it's time to start the pump. First thing to do, close the small valve toward your delivery pipe. And then, make sure the other side is fully open. Now, back at the other end of your pin stock, Simply place that into the water, and you'll see it start to bubble. And then, go back to your pump and see what's happened. At the other end, you can see that bubbles are flying out of the other end. And whenever it stops, that means that it has built up enough pressure in this check valve to pop it closed. Now, what you're going to need to do is take a stick and hold open this valve because there's air still in the pin stock that you have to bleed out before the pump will work properly. Once all of the air is out of the pin stock, you'll see a huge difference in water pressure. Once all the air is out of the pin stock, it'll look like this. Now it's time to remove the stick. You'll see the whole system will start pumping. So what's happening? How is this working without electricity? I'll show you. First, water comes down your pin stock and enters into the pump. Water builds up pressure at this place here slams that check valve closed. When that happens, water is shot back up the pin stock. 
in a pressure wave. But at the same time, water is pressed into the pressure tank. When that happens, the pressure then lowers on this check valve and the wave comes back down and does it over again. After the pump has been running for a minute or two, you're gonna open up your delivery pipe ball valve because the pressure tank now has enough pressure in it to push water uphill. Start off with just a little bit and that should keep the pump going. We'll open it more later. So now let's follow our delivery pipe and see the water going uphill. And there you have it. The hydraulic ram pump is installed and working properly. Now, whenever you have your delivery pipe to the desired destination and it has enough back pressure, this pump will last all year long, non-stop, even during freezing weather because the whole system is moving. Now let's talk about some results of the pump. Because I only have this outlet at 15 feet above the pump, there's not quite enough back pressure to open the ball valve all the way, but it's close. So it's about halfway. Now I have a Nalgene bottle with a thousand milliliter marking on it, and we're going to see how long it takes to fill this bottle. So basically at this height and the valve halfway open, every minute we're getting one gallon of water. Now there are many applications for a hydraulic ram pump. You can store all the water you collect in a rain barrel and then have pressure, say above your house, so you could flush toilets or water the garden, maybe even wash your car. And there's no electricity involved, so it's pretty much free water. Thank you for watching this video on the hydraulic ram pump. You can build your own pump from instructions found at Landa House, or you can buy a pre-assembled version of three different sizes. So please check those out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.